Hello guys, welcome to Ankit Sunil Vids. Today I'm gonna tell you 30 side effects of weed or marijuana. Reference for the scientific data and medical facts provided in this video is given in the description box and also at the end of this video which you can go through later. Weed or marijuana is basically uh, taken from cannabis sativus plant or also known as hemp plant. The other names are cheris, hashis, ganja, grass, bhang, majum. Basically, it has uh, short-term effects and long-term effects. Short-term effects uh, which uh, are seen after 30 minutes of ingestion uh, to several hours. It impairs thinking, concentration, increases your reaction time. This effect is uh, stronger in less experienced uh, weed users. It impairs aspect of planning, decision making or uh, in terms of response speed or accuracy and latency. Perceptual and psychomotor dysfunction uh, which results into altered senses, altered sense of time, impaired coordination and performance resulting into derealization, depersonalization, synesthesia. If it is taken in high dose then the symptoms of uh, weed uh, intoxications are similar to alcohol intoxications resulting into severe vomiting uh, and road traffic accidents. It can increase your appetite. The same property of weed is also used in medicines uh, to increase appetite in severely ill patients. It can result into conjunctival infections uh, causing red eye, increased lacrimation. Few people uh, do uh, also have photophobia means uh, they cannot uh, face uh, high intensity of light. Uh, they have dry mouth, they get anxiety. It increases uh, your heart rate, uh, medically known as tachycardia, uh, which is not good. In chronic and long term effects uh, are uh, it causes psychiatric disorder. The main uh, culprit is THC, which is a content of uh, weed which results into schizophrenia like state or paranoid people who are who already have mood disorders like bipolar or they have uh, schizophrenia then it can worsen their illness or it can cause the relapse of their illness it can result into anxiety or depression suicidal tendency the most common thing seen is a motivation syndrome where the person uh, have loss of interest loss of energy, lack of ambition, reduced drive, lethargy. It can also result into uh, hemp insanity uh, in which person uh, get disoriented also known as uh, run amok. Regular use, uh, use of weed can result into bronchial uh, epithelial ciliary loss and impairs the microbicidal function of alveolar macrophages in your lung which can precipitate uh, COPD chronic obstructive pulmonary disease in which uh, patient uh, have uh, em emphysema or chronic bronchitis it can decrease testosterone the male hormone uh, it can decrease sperm count it can decrease sperm mobility in females it can cause menstrual abnormalities uh, basically it causes anovulatory cycles in female if a pregnant lady uses weed during her pregnancy Mm, it can affect certain developing parts of fetus brain. It can precipitate angina or coronary artery disease. In heart, it can cause uh, myocardial infarction or in a common language known as heart attack. It can precipitate it. Uh, the other effect in heart uh, which is seen is it increases cardiac work, increases catecholamine levels and causes carboxyhemoglobin which means the, there would be decreased oxygen uh, in your blood, uh, more of uh, carbon dioxide. It can result into postural hypotension. Uh, in postural hypotension, when patient stands up from sitting position, uh, he feel uh, kind of giddiness or fainting. It can also result into stroke due to cardiovascular embolism. Uh, it is seen that who take uh, weed uh, less than 17 years of age uh, they lose their approx uh, 8 points of IQ which uh, did not fully return in those who quit marijuana as an adult those people are also uh, high risk for polydrug and alcohol abuse some marijuana users uh, also get this flashback phenomena or return trip 
people say like it do not have any withdrawal symptom but uh, it do have uh, withdrawal symptoms withdrawal symptoms might might be mild in weed but it is still there uh, which includes anxiety nervousness s- sleep difficulties aggression tremor nystagmus sweating uh, which uh, subside within 2 to 12 weeks people develop tolerance uh, with the chronic use uh, is marijuana addictive yes marijuana can be addictive uh, contrary to the common belief Uh, research suggests that 30% of the users develop some degree of problem and if it is taken before the age of uh, 18 then uh, there are 4 to 7 times uh, chances that the person as an adult will develop so therefore say no to weed and subscribe to my channel uh, for more videos and here is the reference the same reference is also given in the uh, description box of this video